Hey, what's going on guys? It's James from James's Jeff Tiles. Um, I just want to come at you and let you know I'm going to be vending the Sacramento Reptile Show this year. Now, obviously I don't have enough animals at this point to have my own table. Tables are really expensive, especially, especially at the Sacramento Reptile Show. It's probably the biggest show in NorCal. Of course, SoCal, you have Pomona. But it's definitely one of the biggest shows, especially from the area. People come from all over to this show. Um, I believe me, Armando Palacios, possibly, possibly Glenn from Glenn's Reptiles, Legless Excellence, and possibly Trent from Trent's Treptiles. Yes, Trent's Treptiles, James's Treptiles. I came up with the name and he said, Trent's Treptiles sounds better like a week later. So he just called himself that, whatever. Uh, um, we're all four gonna be going in on a, two or three tables, probably two tables, depending on if Glenn goes. But we'll be there, we'll be vending. And I just wanna take a time, take a time, take a minute to go over animals I'm gonna have at the show and what you can expect from me in the future. So with that being said, I'm gonna flip you around and we'll take a look at some baby crested geckos and some crested gecko eggs and maybe even some baby fat tails I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring to the show yet. I'm also probably gonna bring my hissing cockroach colony because it's not really doing anything for me. And I can put another doobie roach colony in its spot and that would be more money in my pocket. So I'm gonna flip you around, we'll go through everything and hopefully I see you guys there. All right, so here I have a bunch of my eggs. Um, these are all from the same male different females, two different females. Hopefully some of them hatch before the show. And if they do, and I have them for like a week or two, I might end up bringing them. We'll see depending on how big they are. I'm actually gonna check on a baby that hatched just the other day and see how it's doing. And then I'll give me a rough idea of how big they're gonna get, how fast. Cause I did just start breeding crested. So this is kind of new for me. And I just want to state right now, a few of them that I'm bringing to the show, I did not breed. I did not breed myself. I actually bought a wholesale order online from Pangea. So these are my eggs, and we're gonna zip on over there right now. One more thing I want to add before I get into the crested geckos: my hairless rats just laid another litter last week. Um, if all those babies, which they they totally should be actually if they lay more babies honestly and those babies are ready i might end up bringing some of those to the shack show and selling them on the side probably like 10 bucks a piece but anyway evidently it is uh the day i have to feed these geckos now this gecko is actually back when i had two males and two females one of them well, I separated them because I put both females with the nicer male because it just made more sense. And after that, the second male died for unknown reasons. This little guy will be at the show. Or little girl. Could be a little girl. But, uh, yeah, both the parents weren't my two nicest. I have two really nice ones and two kind of eh. This was a pairing between the two kind of eh. But... Definitely some personality with that guy. Now, these all have three each. And I did buy a bunch more tubs. So I'm gonna start separating, especially as I get bigger. I'm probably gonna limit it to two each, plus with all the other eggs hatching. And let's go through here and see what we got going on. I'm gonna change out the paper towels, trying to get some flies in here. There are two right there. And there's a guy that just hatched the other day. How's it going, buddy? How you doing? Did you shed? He kind of looks like it. Yeah, these are Dalmatians, by the way. I'm tight like that. I just have Dalmatians. It's going to be kind of a gray color, it looks like. I'll we'll have to see what that one looks like before the show. I might have to keep that one. We'll see. I like the Dalmatians, so I'll probably st 
stick with the Dalmatians. But I definitely want some more females. I want to hold back some more females. So whatever you see me with, just know I probably have some females set aside chilling at home. That one's tight. I'm probably going to end up keeping that one. And then there's one in the other bin I want to keep too. Oh, wait. But I did have a buddy offer me. I didn't sell them. Uh, I offered them to people at work for 45 which is what I get them for just about. So that would be breaking even. And anyone else who wants one, I offer them for 65 I told them 60 for that guy, which is pretty tight. I might end up keeping it though. Where are you, little gecko? I'm not seeing this. Good. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I checked this, but there you go. So you will see a bunch of these geckos there. Um, I don't think I'm going to order more before the show. Just because if I'm going to spend any other money on stuff, it's probably going to be a new gecko rack for next year's breeding season. See, those are all 28 quart tubs. Those will be really good for breeders. See how this one's got the divider in it? This one's my rescues. These these are baby fat tails. These are slightly grown up fat tails. I don't want them in the same bin. These are a bunch of random females. And this is my fat tail breeding group with the male in there. I want to split these males up. I want to give these and these babies all their own tubs and that male its own tub and then i'll have six breeding groups there's a snows uh, i'm probably gonna do them anyway breed do them breed them anyway but that's it for this um i think that's about all i'll have at the show my buddy tread from shrimp reptiles is gonna have a bunch of bell albino leopard geckos that I'm actually incubating for him in my incubator because he doesn't have one. And it'll be a fun time. Hold on. It'll be a fun time at the Reptile Show in Sacramento. I believe it's at the end of September. My name is James Jeptiles. James Jeptiles on Instagram, Twitter, jamesjeptiles at gmail.com. James Walter on Facebook, and I hope to see you there.